Hello. In this video, we will see how to start up an RA secure project based on the IAR embedded workbench for ARM. We'll be using the Renesas Smart Configurator, known as RASC, the Renesas Flexible Software Platform, FSP, the IAR embedded workbench for ARM, and an EK RA6M4. So let's start by invoking RASC. Once RASC has started up, you'll be asked to enter uh, a path for your project and give it a project name. And it's good practice at this time to add an underscore S for secure projects that helps you to differentiate uh, when you come back to the projects a little later. You can then select an appropriate FSP version, uh, a device or board as necessary, and further details are actually displayed on the right hand side of the dialog. Once complete, we select next to move on to the next dialog, where we can select a project type, either a non-secure project, with the highlighted text, a so-called flat project, where trust zone is logically disabled, or in this case, a secure project. And again, the text describes exactly what that project will do for us. And we select next and we're then offered an option to what type of project either one that includes an, a real-time operating system or in this case just a bare metal RASC will then complete the configurator for you and after a few seconds you're offered uh, the same configurator you would have seen within eSquared Studio it gives you a summary of the project access to BSP settings where we can change some configuration as necessary we can change clocks we can change pin configurations, selecting an appropriate pin and changing its function. Uh, and we can look at interrupts, components, etc. But in this case, we want to have a look at stacks. So we can come and add uh, a driver if necessary, for example, a timer. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. I just want a literally a bare metal project. So I now press generate project content and close RASC. We can now invoke the IAR embedded workbench on the uh, generated project. And we can see the source files that uh, have been generated by RASC. The first thing we need to do is generate, uh, make sure we have a project connection between the two. So we can add the project connection and select the uh, build info.ipcf file. Then we can start uh, editing and working on our project. So if we have a look at the uh, um, program entry and here we can see the startup code um, and I can start putting my secure code in here uh, as necessary. Uh, and once that's complete, we will then invoke the call to the non-secure project. OK, so let's go ahead and build this. So we'll be building the appropriately generated C files. At the end of that build, there is a post build phase where we're extracting the necessary information ready to be passed off to the non secure project. And you'll see that happening just after the link phase. So once the project has built, uh, we may want to reconfigure or add further drivers. We can do that from inside the tooling, provided we've actually set up some links. And this information is described in the, uh, the quick start guide and the setup guides for RASC. So a number of entries need to be made just once within the embedded workbench for both what's known as the RA smart configurator and a partition manager as well. And we'll discuss that in further details in the non-secure project a little later on. So I can now, uh, from the tools menu, I can re-invoke the smart configurator and make changes to the project as necessary. That completes this particular video, but I suggest you now review the similar video to generate a non-secure project within the IAR environments. Thank you.